In this video, we're gonna talk about how to set limits on your Lost Mandy mount using the Gemini Astronomical Computer. This is my personal mount. We're here in my driveway. Um, I'm gonna show you briefly how to set limits. Uh, first, I wanna talk for a moment about what are limits and why do we use them. Limits are software limits that are set in the Gemini that ensure that the telescope is not gonna do what's called a pure crash. It's not going to accidentally, either when you're slewing or when you are tracking, gonna hit the mount. Um, I've gone ahead and just loosened uh, the clutches here just to demonstrate this, but as the mount tracks, it's going from uh, east to west, you can see that at some point, it's gonna, this, you know, probably my camera and my guide are gonna hit the, the side of the pier. Now I actually have a pier extension here, so it makes it a little bit easier. At some point it's actually gonna hit uh, the side of the pier and that's gonna be bad, right? Of course, uh, we don't want it to hit it because it might damage the camera, might damage some other equipment. Uh, and the same thing is true on the opposite side, that if we're slewing back, uh, and in this case, this is an, uh, an older Gemini unit that does not have the tucked-in motors, but you can see uh, that actually the bottom of this plate might actually hit the motor here. So what we wanna do is we want to use the built-in Gemini software system uh, to actually set uh, these limits. And I'm gonna show you right now how we're gonna do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up my Gemini and I'm gonna use the cold start right now. Um, if you came from the previous video, you know that we just finished setting up our Gemini, making sure that our location, uh, all that setup information uh, is set correctly. Um, the mount type, of course, is very important to set correctly. If for some reason you need to change the mount type prior to this, you of course need to power cycle your Gemini. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cold start uh, the Gemini, and now it's asking me if I wanna do polar line assist and some other functions. And I'm gonna click back and back again, and I'm gonna get to the home screen, which is the uh, screen with the four diamonds here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the keypad to slew the mount uh, and set the first limit. The, which side that you do it on doesn't matter, you can do one side versus the other. But I'm gonna go ahead and start slewing in the RA direction. It's important that you keep the RA clutch tight uh, because the limits uh, are actually gonna be set based on that. And I'm gonna move the deck as well. And what I'm looking for is the point where it's starting to get close to the edge of the pier. Everyone's setup's gonna be a little bit different. Of course, with this one, you see I have this pier extension, so I can get pretty far along. Now, what I'm looking for is the room between whatever's closest on the camera and then whatever's closest on the pier. And although I have probably about five or so inches in here. I could probably go a little bit further. I want to be really careful. Ignore this cable. It's, I unplugged my camera because it was a little bit noisy. But um, another way that folks do this sometimes is by loosening the deck clutch, not the RA. You never want to loosen the RA clutch in this, but you can check, sort of moving it back and forth Check to see if there's anything that's being snagged in here. Also, you can see that some of these cables I'm gonna have to wrangle a little bit better. But um, this looks like this is probably a good point. I usually aim for something just a little bit closer, um, which is typically maybe one to two inches, uh, but this is gonna work quite nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock my deck, deck clutch. And from my menu here, I'm gonna choose menu, mount, limit, and then I'm gonna click set limit here. And it's gonna know which side of the pier I'm on uh, and set the limit uh, correctly. So here, this was the Western position. Uh, this is pier side West. And it set it at about 97 degrees, almost 98 degrees. So 90 degrees is parallel and 97 is about, well, 97, 98 is about seven or eight degrees past that. And that looks like about correct. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the limit on the other side. You might get that beeping. While we're slewing here, I wanna point out that limits are only an RA function. They don't set any deck limits. So uh, that's why you wanna double check and make sure that as you move the deck around, uh, that it actually is going to uh, clear your tripod, clear your pier, whatever it is. So we're gonna move around in this direction. Now this one, the problem is, and you can see now why we've done the tucked in motors, is when you have motors sitting out uh, and hanging out a little bit, they kind of run into this problem that uh, they could potentially uh, hit the pier much earlier. And this is right here is where I'm gonna look for this. 
So, we're getting closer. Now, probably somewhere in here is where I'm gonna look for this. And again, it looks to me like the place, instead of before where it was the camera or the filter wheel, the guide camera, now it's going to be actually the motor in the bottom of the uh, dovetail plate here. So I feel pretty good about this. Uh, just again, I can double check this by loosening this clutch, the deck clutch, sort of move it back and forth. Yep, look like it's gonna clear, nothing else in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this. And I am going to choose once again, uh, I'm gonna choose menu, mount, limits, and set limit here. Now this limit you can tell is actually uh, before 90 degrees, it's about 74 degrees. So in a later tutorial when we talk about how to deal with meridian flips, things like this, this is gonna be a problem because what happens is the entire sky is not accessible on both sides of the pier. So when you go to do a flip, this may mean that the flip may fail because we don't have enough overlap in the sky coverage to make this happen. So that's how you set your east and west limits for RA on your Lost Mady Gemini. I hope that was super simple and straightforward. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a comment below. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, whatever questions you may have. Also hit the notify bell. You'll know when new videos are up to teach you more about your Lost Mandy system.